Welcome back, folks, to Chicago 811. We're out here on another 811 request. Contractor wants to bore, directional bore, some fiber. Okay, we're gonna go from a state highway, 500 feet east, all the way down, all the way down there, folks. So that's the task on hand for today. Let's get into the video, guys. Please subscribe, like, and enjoy the video. First task, AT&T cross box. We need to get in. You see, snow covered. We gotta remove the snow. Can't open it here. And definitely can't open it here. So there's a lot of snow to remove. So it's gonna take me some time, folks. I need to get into this cross box. I think I'm gonna start right here first and see how well it goes. I wonder if I get paid extra for snow removal from the utility company. That's what I'm doing, snow removal. Ay, 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 ay. This is a rat nest here, folks. Any fucking rat, any rats down here? Let's see, rats fought in paper. More paper. Wow, oh, is that a rat? You don't see that rat came out of that cross box. I can't believe it, man. There's rats in the suburbs. All right, what I gotta do, I gotta unbind these cables and I'm gonna double check to make sure these straps are bonded to the cable that somebody didn't unbind it. All right, it looks like we have five cables in this cross box, folks. Let's get to it. One. Don't lose the nut. Need the nut. There's two. And there's already three bonds here. There's supposed to be two more missing. So you know what that's telling me, folks? Two of these cables ain't bonded. There's only three here. It's supposed to have what I say? Five, I think. So I got one, two. Three, come on, where are you going? Where's this cable going at? This wire, There's so many damn shit in there. Oh man, my gloves. All right. So this one here, as you can see, this cable here, has no ground, no bonds to it, no ground strap, nothing. So I have to hop here, this one here, because it's there's no nut on it that I can see. And then this one here, it has to be this cable, this ground strap here. So that has to be that one. Two, three, four, and five is nowhere to be find found. All right, let's get it. Let's get. Let's get. Alright folks, take note. 
my gain's only set at 43. My gain's only set at 43. I didn't move it at all. So my initial sweep, my gain, it could be really low. You know, below 50 when I do my sweep. So I could get my target. I did a 360 sweep, and this is the only tone that, that I picked up. Right here, you can see it's a good tone. You can see it's at two feet. You can see it's at two feet. I don't know how good you can see it. You can see my milliamps. I pushed it out 100, and it's I'm picking up 103. That's impossible, I'm picking up 103, but I don't know how I'm picking up 103, but I am. I'm seeing it with my own two eyes. So I got excellent milliamps. So I know this cable is going, going this way. It, so always start with your receiver below 50 and above 40, and you should be good. Folks, you can't go wrong with this tone. This tone is a beautiful tone. All right, so I do this cable. Let's do this cable right here. And you can see, it's not touching no metal. This is like kind of insulated. So I'm making sure it's not touching metal. So I get I get a good tone at the cable. Another 360 sweep. Take note of my gain, 42. So 42. I'm a receiver, that's the highest I'll go. After my 360, if I have to bump it up, I'll bump it up. But your initial sweep, you wanna be low. You can take it out, it's moving, but don't force it. Just because that's moving, it's not singing yet. Wait till it sings. Because I see a lot of guys, they'll have it coming up like this, and right away they'll bump it up. And it, they'll, they're forcing the tone right there. Now you're forcing it, and you might be on top of the gas main here. So just because that move, wait till, it, wait till this top bar goes off the, off the charts. Then you know you're on your cable. Okay, I did my 360. I didn't get no tone except that spot next to the gas. So notice, take note, I'm bumping up my gain to 50. Okay, now I'm at the same spot on 50, and I got a tone here at three feet and it's 76 million. So that's not guaranteed this is the cable yet. Let's complete the sweep. Do another 360 to make sure that's the only tone we got with those milliamps. All right, folks, that's the only tone. So that's my money maker, folks. That's how you guys stay damage free, people. Damage free. Now you can see it, the compass turning. And now I know my cable's turning. So here I go do another sweep, baby steep sweep. Pick up my cable again. And you can see it's right here. And now just walk it in, baby step it. Baby step the sun with gun in. So that's what I'm saying, folks. If you were to rush this one right here, you wouldn't get this bend exactly like this to the cross box. You would have mismarked it, and you probably would came short with the cable. You probably would have marked it something like, like right here, when it's actually 
a wider bed. So that's why you guys have to baby step it back to the utility because you're getting, you're, it's getting congested and you're bleeding out to other utilities because you're too close to the cross box where all these other cables are at. That's why you baby step it back into the cross box or the pad or whatever the case might be. Now you can see, I just lost my tone. So after you lose your tone, and you get, no, you get no, nothing else, do another, another sweep to pick up your cable. So let me see where this is at. Here's my main, here's my original tone right here. Look at that, I'm picking up 90, 91. I'm still picking up really good milliamps. My gain's only at 48. I'm not even above 50. And that's how it's supposed to be. Lower on the receiver. If you're pushing higher on the transmitter, you want to be lower on the receiver. Because if you're higher on the receiver and you're pushing out a lot of milliamps from your box, you're going to pick up everything. So we want, you want to be as low as possible on the receiver when, you push, when you're push uh, when you pushing higher on your transmitter. So here's my little sweep. And boom, got it right here. And I'm reading, you can take note, I'm reading 117. I don't know how I'm getting 117, but I'm reading it. Push it out 100, but I'm getting 118 milliamps now. I can't believe it, but I have to believe it because I'm seeing it with my own two eyes. This is a cable that you guys mark out. Excellent tone, excellent tone on this. Now I'm gonna roll it back. My null matches my peak. That's markable whatsoever. The arrows are nice and straight. You can't go wrong, folks, on this cable. You gotta love it when cables tone, tone out really good. You gotta love it. 